What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the Soccer Rabbit Cinderace in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Cinderace, I couldn't tell you the last time I used this Pokemon, but it is a Pokemon that I do adore. I love this Pokemon so much. Very fast Pokemon. Hits like a truck on the physical attack side. Plus, it has a great ability, Liberio. Changes its typing so it gets stabbed on every single move it uses. Really dope, really do like this. But instead of getting started with Cinderace for our team preview, we're gonna start off in the top left hand corner with our restricted Pokemon, Zacian. Not just any Zacian, Stellar Terra Zacian. Now, I used Stellar Terra Zacian once before and I absolutely loved it. Being able to get that Terra boost on all of your moves really helps out a ton, especially with that attack boost he gets from his item and ability. You got Protect, you got Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and Iron Head, which turns into Behemoth Blade. Cannot go wrong with this move set for Zacian. This thing is a physical attacking dream. Other Pokemon on today's team feature Ogre Pond, Urshfu, Ndidi, and Latios. You got Ndidi for support. You got Latios for a little bit of special attacking, plus Tailwind support. Urshfu, Ogre Pond, obviously big time physical attackers. You guys seen those Pokemon plenty of times before. But let's talk about Cinderace, our final Pokemon on today's team, with Life Bureau and the Choice Scarf as its item, making this thing go super fast, changing its typing, having Stab on it. We love it. It's got Snarl for special attack drop. You turn to pivot out. It's got Pyro Ball. And on top of that, it has coaching. So we can coach up our physical attackers, giving aim, giving them a plus one boost in attack and defense. Love it. Love it so much. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Cinderace team. Now, before we get started with our first match, I want to give a huge shout out to every single member to the Jeans channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It really does go a long way. If you guys want to support me a little bit extra, there is a membership link down in the description below. Again, not mandatory, but it is much appreciated. We're going up against a Regiram team here in match number one with Ursaluna, with Furgraph, and Cinemore. Also rocking out with uh, Wellspring, Ogrepan, and Rillboom. So this team kind of screams Tricker to me, right? And since it is Trick Room, I think Indeed is just going to be a viable lead for us. One, to stop Fake Out, and two, just to imprison Trick Room. We can just imprison that Trick Room straight up with Indeed and get after this match. Um, for our other lead Pokemon, we could honestly go into Zacian. I mean, Zacian could be okay, but I think if you're going to lead Frigraph, you're also going to lead Incineroar. And that'll be double physical attackers, and that could be kind of annoying. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. That could be annoying. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into Urshifu here. I think Urshfu is fine. We'll go Zacian and Cinderace in the back end. Something I really like. So, that's going to be our lead. That is going to be our lead. So, yeah. Intimidate, kind of annoying here. It definitely is annoying. But, I feel as if we lead Urshifu here, we can just, you know, go into Surgeon Strikes and kind of bypass that Intimidate. Just get some free critical hits. And maybe if they decide to stay in here with Incineroar, we just KO it with Surgeon Strikes. That would be the best option. But... You never know what they're gonna do. It's gonna be Frigraph Rillaboom. Wow, so I could have just went in with like my Zacian or something. I definitely could have. So this could be a hard swap for us. We could just go for Follow Me. Um, hmm. I could just detect this turn too. And my train comes out last too, which is awesome. Love that. So no fake outs allowed. That's big time news for us. And a nice little special defense boost. So they don't know we have Imprison. I'm going to Imprison Trick Room right off the rip. Um, they can't go for Grassy Guy, which is good. And honestly, I might just Detect or I could Hard Swap. I could Hard Swap maybe into just like Cinderace here. Or even into Zacian. Or do I want to just stay in here? I'm just going to Detect and stay in here. You give me no reason not to just Detect and stay in here. You give me not the singular reason to just to not just attack here. And they're going to go for a fake out regardless. Wow, we should just attack. We should just attack and we're just imprisoning up. Putting that X up, stamping it in the middle. No trick room allowed for you. Get on out of here. Okay, so cool. So we do that. I really don't want to waste Terra. Uh, I think I should just go for a simple follow me here. And then just start going into a certain strikes into the graph. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. So if I can get rid of Ferrigraph, which is their only Trick Room setter, is that a correct statement? I think. I'm trying to remember their team. They had Ursaluna, they had Ferrigraph, they had Regiram. Regiram can't pop Trick Room. Rillaboom can't pop Trick Room. I think if we just get rid of Ferrigraph, we should really be able to thrive out with our Pokemon in the back end, Cinderace and Zacian. But Sergeant Strike's going to fly here. It's not going to be able to pick up the KO, but it still does a nice little chunk of damage here. 
Oh, but you have Rocky Helmet. That's the worst. That is the worst. When you're attacking with Surgeon Strikes and Rocky Helmet's just hitting you, it's just a, a terrible sign. We hate it. We hate it. So, we end up doing all that good stuff. U turn's gonna fly out here into Indeedee. We're gonna be able to soak, and they're just gonna pivot back. So, they pivot back, and they're gonna go into their next Pokemon, which is going to be who? Who you got cooking here? All I know is I have to get rid of Free Grab. That's, that's my main issue. For Riggies. So, I could end up swapping Indeedee, depending on who they go into. They're gonna go into Ogre Pond here. So they go into this lovely little Ogre Pond. Um. This leads me to think that they want to go for a, uh, that they want to go for a follow me here. So I'm just going to honestly just add some gleam and I'm just going to go for close combat. I don't mind doubling down in for graph, but if you go for follow me, I don't want to go for surgeon strikes and you just water absorb this. So I'm going to go for a close combat. I probably should have went more in iron head here and they're just going to withdraw. Okay. So what are you, what are you doing here? You're bringing back out roll boom. Yeah. You're going to bring back out roll boom. And you're probably just gonna end up KO my Urshfu, right? Which is fine. Yeah, you're gonna KO my Urshfu. Okay. So to KO Urshfu, I get to bring out my uh my faster, stronger Pokemon. They could definitely just fake out here if they want to. But that's what Gleam's gonna do like negative six damage. Now I actually playing this one pretty well. And they got the grassy boys out here. The real question is, do I wanna get terrain back? I gotta go into somebody with protect, so I'm gonna go into you here. What is the play here? What is the play? Do I wanna swap into you? Not really. Not really. I think we just let NDD die. I think we just let NDD die here. And then we just protect my boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to look to clutch up in the back end. So we have their Frigraph rather low HP. They could Terrasilize, obviously, Rillaboom whenever they please. We're kind of hoping they double down here, because if they do double down, that, that leads me to get off some free turns with Sassian. And they do. That's massive. So I am going to be able to get off some free turns. Uh, I think we just go for Follow Me, and we just start chunking up some damage here. Let's forget about Dazzle Gleam. Doing a little bit of work. But Dazzle Gleam, not bad. Um... Robum definitely looking a little scary, especially like a wood hammer here. It's looking terrifying, but a follow me coming out here and a terrasilize from us into a behemoth blade would be pretty good into Robum slot. Or I could just go into play rough and hope to KO Ogre Pond. But the 90 accuracy always does me dirty, but I'm going to rely on the 90 accuracy. I'm going to go right after this Ogre Pond. I'd rather KO Ogre Pond over Robum because again, I have what's called in the back end. I do have Cinderace in the back end. I do have lovely Cinderace in the back end. So we're going to Terrasilize here, put that Stellar Crown on our head. We're going to have Follow Me come out here. And we're going to hope that this player off can just KO Ogre Pond. Do spiky shields. Oh, man! Man! Nothing I hate more than being protected. And I think I... Do I lose my player off? That's the real question. Do I lose my player off? That could be rough news. Do I lose my Stellar in the... Like the Stellar Terror Boost? In the play rough because you only get one per turn or one per uh, move so everyone's gonna get back HP here I think we just do the same thing unless like who could you swap into you Regiram here but Regiram will still be neutral it will still be neutral so I'm gonna go for another follow me play rough still has that terror boost which is great and I'm just gonna send it again just gonna send it right there again getting after it. hopefully I can KO the circle pond I need to KO the circle pond I need Ogre Pond gone. So follow me comes out here. They still have Terra, which is fine. Play rough. Need to KO here. Your plus one attack. That's stab as well. Plus Terra boost it. We pick up the KO. Zassian just an absolute dog. Picking up KOs when I need him to. So we take out Ogre Pond. He's going to U-turn pivot for his fake out back. And now he's going to have to pretty much show his Pokemon. Or he can just go back into what's it called? Or he could go into Frigoraph here. I feel like he has options. I feel like he has options. So the thing is here, they have, um, they have Reshiram in the back. And they're going to go Frigoraph here, and then they're going to bring out, uh, probably Rillaboom again, just so he has Fake Out option. And we're going to have to go into Cinderace here. Now, the tough part here is, the real tough part here is, what do I choice into? That's the question. 
Because now they're going to probably fake out Zacian, let's be honest. They're probably faking out Zacian. Not going to sit here and just, like, lie about it. <laughs> like, they're probably faking out Zacian, which makes me kind of have to attack for Griff. And I think I had to choose to a Pyro Ball, which kind of sucks. But it's definitely in our best interest. So I'm going to go Pyro Ball here. And I am just going to sit here and double down into... I really want to go for another play rough because I don't want to... I don't want to waste our Terra Boost, but you know what? I'm just going to go into a Sacred Sword here and double down to Fergies. Yeah, it's going to be my play. Let's see what they end up doing here. They are going to fake out... Alright, Cinderace, that's fine. They don't fake out Zacian, so we don't end up protecting, which is a great call on us because we just want to double down for a grab, allow him not to set up Shirk Room. And the thing is here, we still have Behemoth Blade ready to rock with full Terra. With full Terra. So Cinderace is going to flinch here. It's keeping its typing. I like our typings here. Um, Reshiram's the only Pokemon that's really scaring me, and I don't really know how we're going to get after this thing. Reshiram, Dragon and Fire. No, it's going to be Ursaluna. They didn't bring Reshiram. We like that a little bit better. We like that a little bit better. So I'm going to go Pyro Ball here. Oh, man, like an EQ is terrifying. And what's going to do more damage? Behemoth Blade, Stab, or Super Effective Sacred Sword? I get the Terra Boost in this, so I honestly think this does more damage. Should I double down into Ursaluna? Might be a better play for us just to double down to Ursaluna. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to switch Pyro Ball over to here. And we're going to double down to Ursaluna. I think double down to Ursaluna is way better considering Rillaboom could Terrasilize here into Fire. Let's see what you got. What do you got here? No, it's going to be Ursaluna going into what typing? You got Fairy, so you're dead. You're dead. That's perfect. We got Behemoth Blade launching in that slot. Maybe you thought we were going for a, uh, a Sacred Sword. So Pyro Ball just going to fly here. It's going to chip up a little bit of damage. Behemoth Blade's gonna say bye bye to you, and everything works out perfectly. Well, at least it looks like that for now. They don't have Terra on that Rillaboom anymore. I don't think they can really take out Cinderace in one turn, and then I could just Pyro Ball it. Cool. Love it. So, yeah, everything was kind of looking a little like weird. It was just like, okay, we can't let them set up Trick Room. They're KO my Pokemon slowly. But I had full faith in my back end Pokemon, Sassian and Cinderace. That's gonna be match number one. What a way to get this video started. Cinderace and Zassian, Stellar Terra Zassian. Just doing ridiculous amounts of damage, picking up KOs. They cancel the battle. We're sitting 1 0. Match number one went perfectly. Let's look to replicate in match number two, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Iron Crown and Indeedee, a deadly combo that was actually really strong in the last restricted format. Or not restricted format, the last format of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But they also have Glaring Moltres, Rock Ogre Pond, who I've been seeing a good bit. And then they have My Shao. Pretty strong team right here. Um. We don't have any way of changing terrain, but I do like Cinderace rocking out here with Snarl. Could be really good for us, especially with all the special attackers on the field. Honestly, I'm just going to lead it. Let's Snarl up. Let's get Snarling. We can Snarl. We can also go into Latios. Latios could be a nice little Pokemon with a solid Poison Terror type to maybe set up Tailwind. Grant our team at least a little bit of speed control. They could fake us out here as well. They could potentially go into fake out, which eh, is looking a little scary. Maybe do I want to bring Indeedee for that instance? I definitely want Zacian here. But do we think they'd lead my shell? Possibilities. They do got a few possibilities here. Hmm. Huh. I really don't want Indeedee, but I really want to block Fake Out. What's my play here? I think we're just going to go with Urshfu. I think Urshfu is just, it's just such a good Pokemon all around. You really can't go wrong with it. Yeah, so we're just going to say screw Indeedee. Hopefully they don't leave my shell. That 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 be in our best interest. But I do like this Cinderace Latios League because if they do go like Indeedee Iron Crown or Indeedee Calyrex, we should be outspeeding with our choice scarf, being able to snarl, drop their special attack a little bit, be able to get off Tailwind, and then just kind of just like constantly snarl them down for a little bit. And it's gonna be super effective on the both. And it will be stabbed because of Libera. We do change our typing up a little bit. That's not bad. So let's see who they lead. Indeed, the Iron Crown. Again, we don't mind. We don't mind. This is kind of exactly what we wanted them to do. So they're sitting here with their Psychic type Pokemon. I am going to actually switch into Dark Typing. So any Psychic move actually not going to affect me. We like it. We <laughs> like it. So Quirk Charge is going to boost his special attack, not his speed. That's good news for us. Indeed, he's going to pop those nice little Psychic Seeds. And the question is, do we actually pop Tailwind? Are they going to pop Trick Room? I don't think they pop Trick Room. Just doesn't seem to play. So we're going to Snarl here. 
I'm gonna pop a Tailwind just for the rest of the squad. And we'll kind of go from there. I'm fine with that. So follow me comes out here. That's no problem. That's no problem. We're going into a perfect little dark typing. And we're dropping your special attack. Nibiru. We're now dark. No psychic moves can hit us. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Cinderace getting after him today. So now we're choice into that, which isn't bad. I mean, I could just spam Snarl until they force us to swap. And he's going to go for Expanded Force, which does not affect Cinderace, and it's going to do minimal damage to this Latios due to us being Psychic type already. Actually, he did a little bit more than I thought it would, but honestly, it's just a big time damaging move. So I'm going to go for another Snarl here. And honestly, let's just go for Luster Purge. I don't feel like dropping our special attack with Draco Meteors just yet. So we'll go for Snarl. We will follow through with the Luster Purge into this Iron Crown slot. Um, and they just end up protecting, so not bad. Didi, what are you doing here? That's the real question. You're going for Dazzling Gleam? You are going for Dazzling Gleam, but it's going to be minus two. It's going to be super effective on the both, but it is going to be minus two. It will be minus two. The special attack dropping. Luster Purge is going to get blocked. Um, now might be the time for us to throw Draco Meteor. Let's see. Let's see how much damage this uh, Dazzling Gleam does. Eh, not crazy. Not the crazy. I mean, it crits on my Cinderace. I was going to say, it did a little bit more to my Cinderace than anybody. So we're going to do that, and honestly, let's just, let's just try to get rid of this Iron Crown. If you're going to swap in anybody, who would it be? If you're going to swap Iron Crown into anybody, who could it be? Calyrex? Potentially. Moltres. Or Ogre Pond. We're going to send a Streak of Meteor in this slot. We're sending it right into this slot. I think you swap Iron Crown. You don't. A little annoying. A little annoying. We should have stuck with the Luster Purge. Special attack is going to drop. We got these guys minus three. Draco Meteor is going to land. How much damage is this going to do? Not bad. That, that's solid damage. It's, it's better than, than I expected it to be. Pack Young uh, Cutter is going to come out here. And Dazzling Gleam is going to finish off Cinderace. Okay, so not bad turns for us. Not too bad of turns for us. I mean, I'll sacrifice my Cinderace for this combo getting out the way. Problem is, we're going to need another Tailwind up here. That is really what we need. I could go into Urshfu here, which is pretty solid. I could go into Zacian. But I think i got to save my Zacian, right? Hmm. Who's faster? Latios or Zacian? Or Latios or... Honestly, follow me might pop out here. Follow me might pop out here. I'm gonna go Urshfu. But follow me could pop out here, which could be annoying because then they could just expand and force to take out my Urshfu. What do I think's in my best interest here? Probably just detecting. We might have to use Tyrell on Urshfu. I'm just gonna detect this turn though. How many turns are left in Tailwind? One. Do we just protect this turn? And set up Tailwind the next. Yeah. We're just gonna double protect. Play this one slow. So that's the thing. I don't want follow me coming out here than them expanding forcing. It's just eh. So let's just detect. Let's just try to get off another Tailwind so we can get four more turns out of this. Because we're gonna need it. And there's the follow me. That's what I was worried about. The follow me expanded force combo coming out here. So we know we have uh, Iron Crown down to minus three, which is really good. Make me want to just Terrasalize Urshfu and then try to get off this Tailwind. I like it. I'm going to Terrasalize you. We're going to go in certain strikes and we're just going to go for this Tailwind. Straight into the Tailwind. Straight into the Tailwind. So again, want to set up another Tailwind. Want to keep this Urshfu alive so we are going to force the Tyrant onto it. Even though I really want to save the Stellar Tyrant type for Zacian. I just think having this Earth Fruit in Tailwind could be pretty big for us, right? Especially with Calyrex in the back end. So, my thought process here is keep Earth Fruit alive, get the Tailwind up, start KOing these Pokemon, and then kind of go from there, right? So they're going to stick with the Follow Me kind of combo. Look at go for Expanded Force. And we got off this Tailwind. So, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Adios is kind of on the lower side of Special Attacking right now because Draco Meteor was used. Maybe we might, we might want to swap this Pokemon out. We're going to get rid of Ndidi, though, which is gorgeous. So, Ndidi gone. Psychic Terrain, going to be gone, too. So, if Calyrex really wants to thrive with it, it's not going to be able to. All right. Not bad. Not bad. You got to be going for Expanded Force here. 
Gotta be gone for Expanded Force. Yep. Which has so called day. Thank you, Terra Type. And terrain is now gone. So they can't reset the terrain. We did not, did not bring in DD. We still have Zacian. But I want to swap Latios for Zacian. That's the real question. That's the real question. Because, to be honest, this, this Iron Crown is really not doing much. Like, going to Ogre Pond here. And honestly, I could just double down into this thing. You spiky shot, I hit right through it. We're going to attack this thing. I'm just going to double down to Ogre Pond. We're going right after Ogre Pond. Right after you, Ogre Pond. I'll drop my defense all day. We're going right after you, Ogre Pond. Yes, sir. So we get rid of your Sturdy with this Luster Purge. Bop. Actually, still doing nice damage. Close Combat's going to finish you off. Bye-bye, Ogre Pond. And now, what's awesome about this is... Iron Crown can't swap out, so it's minus three for the rest of the battle. Surprised he didn't swap that Pokemon out at all. After I snarled it up. He's gonna go for a Tachyon Cutter, and we'll die out to that, and that's fine. Latios got off its turns, it did exactly what it needed to do. I got plenty of speed flying through my team now. I got my Zacian ready to go, and honestly, I wanted Latios to die, because I'd rather have the Tailwind turns with Zacian than that uh, Latios. So that, that works perfectly. Leave my Urshfu on the field. Now, probably Shadow Rider Cathars comes out here, and I'll just double down in this slot. Wait, how many turns do we have left? This is with two, correct? Should be two. Should be two. He could protect, he honestly could, but... You're not gonna double protect. So we're just gonna go Surge of Strikes, plus we hit through. Protects here. And we'll double down with Behemoth Blade. I love it. I love it. Cancel the battle. This is gonna be 2-0 for your boy. It's going to be 2-0 for your boy. Doubling down to Calyrex. This, this might just one-shot it. He's way this damage. Yep. See you later. Get it on out of here. Don't even need a Stellar Terror type to get rid of the horse. Surgeon Strikes now slides over. We'll say bye-bye to Iron Crown. Game, set, match. 2-0 with the Cinderace team so far. Love it. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for that perfect record. Moving on to our final match. And I would love to go 3-0 with the Rabbit. Would love it. Would love it so much. We're going up against an Ice Rider Cadillac Trick Room team here in match number three with Blood Moon Ursaluna in DD Ditto, who actually is a great Pokemon in restricted format. Then they got Urshifu and Water Absorb Ogre Pond. Now, obviously, we have to lead our DD. Imprisoning Trick Room is going to be so big for us. So I'm going to lead that. And on top of that, um, kind of want to just go into Sin Race. Not going to lie, but I don't think that's our play. We're going to go in DD. We are going to also probably lead Zacian. I just think Zacian's a really solid lead for us. Considering I think they're going to go into in DD and probably like Ice Rider Calyrex. Their true main trick room kind of things. So I like this. I like going into both of these. So in DD, Zacian, we will bring Sin Race in the back end. And I think Fire Ogre Pond could be great. Honestly, eh, can it be great? It could be could be great. Who would I rather have? I really don't want Urshu. Yeah, I'm gonna go Fire Ogre Pond. The thing is, I know that they have a few water type Pokemon, but we also have part grass in us, so we're neutralizing that. I like Ogre Pond, especially if we get out speed. It's just, it's just this thing just hits too hard. It really just hits really hard. It's kind of like Zacian on a lower level. Like Zacian hits like an absolute truck. Ogre Pond hits like a smaller truck, right? Yeah, you guys understand. <laughs> a smaller truck. Think of it as like an 18 wheeler and a 12 wheeler, right? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so indeed he comes out here with their shadow, with their not shadow rider, ice rider Calyrex, and again this just screams, "Hey, I'm gonna pop Trick Room. I want to get after it." This screams, "Actually, I'm gonna follow me Trick Room." That's exactly what it screams. Because they probably don't want to terrestrialize. They don't want to get hit by a Behemoth Blade. They're just gonna follow me. They're gonna pop Trick Room. So we're just gonna imprison it. They're not ready for the imprison. They're just not. Nobody is. I'm never even ready for the prison. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna launch a Behemoth Blade. If I can land it in the Calyrex slot, that'd be nice. That'd be really good. Now I got a question. I got a genuine question. If any of you guys know the answer to this, let me know in the comment section down below. Say Thur and Didi, for some reason, had it in prison. Could they imprison my imprison so they can trick room? Is that a thing? Is is that a thing? Because that'd be ridiculously cool if someone pulled that off. So we'll see a Terra type probably pop out from Calyrex, right? Yeah, they're just going to stay. They're going to go water, but they're going to not go for follow me here. Are you popping, tricking with Ndidi? Is that your play? Is that what you want to do? But could you imprison your imprison? Helping hand. Whoa there. 
That's that's scary. My imprison might not do much here. The human play gonna fly here. We still got some speed, which is really good. But it's not very effective. This was actually smart. We imprison up. But looks like they're just gonna rip into me. We go for high horsepower. Can we soak this? Ouch. Ouch. That 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 really hurts. That hurts the soul. Now this thing's chilling. They boost it. How do you play this one? How do we play this one? Rasalize Ogre Pond attack. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna Terra go for Woodhammer here. They have Imprison on the field. I think they would want to go for a Glacial Lance. Being plus one, so that's why I want this Rasalize. I want to get this attack boost. I want this attack boost, but honestly, that was a smart play by them. Just to attack my Zacian. And Terrasalize at the same time. Because they took minimal damage and, on top of that, dropped my, my restricted Pokemon. Good plays on their end. Good plays on their end. But yeah, I really want to know about that in-person question. Could you in-person and in-prison? That will be one of the coolest plays to ever make. Like, before you imprison my trick room, I'm gonna imprison you in prison so you can't imprison my trick room. <laughs> That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. We're gonna end up terrestrializing our Ogre Pond. We need some big time damage. Embody Aspects gonna give us that plus one boost on attack. And he just protects Calyrex. What are you doing here, Ndidi? I think you're just reading out what you what I, um, what I'm doing, right? That makes sense. Just to read out what I'm doing. Ndidi, are you just attacking with, like, Gleam or something? I think this was just a more of a readout turn, right? Got a psychic here and chunk up some damage. Smart place on your end. And I'm still just gonna go for a wood hammer here. Actually, I could just go for follow me. You could go for high horsepower now. So I'm just gonna go for wood hammer. I'm gonna go for follow me. Let's just protect my ogre pond now. But I doubt they go for glacial lance now. I think it's more of a high horsepower play. Because now that we know that he has high horsepower, he just dumped on my Zacian. <gasps> no! No. I really want to see how that battle ended. They did have the upper hand on me. I was really curious. So, guys, our opponent ended up disconnecting. We got the win there, but they definitely had the upper hand on us in that match so far. We definitely still had a chance to win it, but I wonder how it would have turned out. Because I had my Ogre Pond Terrastalize. We had to follow me. Again, they had the upper hand. They were probably going to win that match. But, hey, I'll take that free win on my record. We go 2-0 today. Count that last one as a tie, I guess. I don't even know. No contest. We'll count this as a 2-0 day. I'll take it all day. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the content. We rocked out with Cinderace and Zacian today. Doing big time damage with them. And actually showcasing Cinderace really, really well. Got the ripping with Pyro Balls in match number one. Snarling in match number two. Using that like crazy. Dropping our opponent to minus three. Just allowing our other Pokemon to just get off the damage and pick up the KOs. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.